Welcome back to Leitrim County Matters. Coming up, we have music from Nick Della, but first, I'll be heading to Ohakashel, just outside of Drum Shambo, to find out the connection between the Hapley Bridge in Dublin and Leitrim. I'll be talking to Jackie Lee, a postmaster from the area. Many of you know the Halfpenny Bridge in Dublin. It attracts thousands of visitors every year. Well, recently it celebrated its 200th birthday. But did you know the bridge has a Leitrim connection? Well, the iron that made the bridge is actually mined here at the Slevenaren Mountain. Well, Jackie, could you tell me about, first of all, Slevenaren? and its connection with the Halfpenny Bridge in Dublin? Well, when they were building the Halfpenny Bridge in Dublin, uh, the iron for the bridge came from, most of it came from Sleeve the, uh, the Iron Mountain, up here, just up the road there. A lot of Dublin people, I do ask them about the Halfpenny Bridge, you know, the history of it, and a lot of them didn't seem to know that it came from Leitrim. They just thought it was there and it, uh, it, that, it, that was the origin of it uh, in Dublin, but it uh, actually came from uh, Steve Nearn. So uh, that, that's it now. One time there was a, uh, some kind of a toll every time that they had to, people crossed, uh, walked on the, or crossed over the bridge. That would be a halfpenny. That was way back in the olden days, but that's finished now. Everyone walks across boats up and down and over and back, so they have no money to pay at the moment. But that was the history of the, the Hapney Bridge. You have a lot of businesses running through your family, and I suppose the thing that links them is the dispersal of goods and people and helping people travel. But yourself, your dad and your grandfather were all postmasters. Yeah, postmasters. My grandfather was a school teacher, and he had uh, a, a grocery shop, and he had the post office. And, and the firm, and then my father then built this building here where we have the present shop in 1924, and the grocery, well, he, they're doing the shipping business as well, and then the, the grocery. Most people then, uh, the shipping thing kind of died away, and it was mostly then by air. A lot of people traveling now abroad to uh, Birmingham, London, and New York, and out to Chicago and places like that. It was the airline business. So then, at that stage then, we were out here a bit out in the country and a bit isolated. So it kind of fizzled away then that people booked with Aer Lingus and these uh, airlines rather than coming to a local uh, travel agent. We were out a bit isolated away from the, the main public, you know, so that meant that we kind of fizzled out then. So you're a postmaster yourself, and you've actually passed that on to your daughter, Antoinette. Can you tell me a bit about the way you work here today in Ohakashal, here at the post office? Well, Antoinette runs the, the post office, and I run the, the shop part, grocery and uh, light hardware. And we start at 9 o'clock in the morning, and we work away until 9 o'clock at night. And on Sunday, then, we close about 2 o'clock when the people go home from the local churches. And then we're off then from two o'clock then on a Sunday. That's the end of the business on a Sunday. Jackie, what was your favourite part um, as a kid growing up here um, in Ahakashal? What was your favourite well, thing? Well, uh, I played uh, at uh, secondary school in Dublin. I played rugby there. And when I came back then, uh, I started uh, Gaelic football for a short time. And then our pipe band then started and I joined the pipe band, and I was a piper. And we, I was uh, piping up to about, about 10 years ago. So uh, that was my, uh, uh, the football thing, I had to leave that because nearly every Sunday we were away someplace with the pipe band. We were locally, and Feshes in Sligo, and St. Patrick's Day parades in Dublin. And we went to New York, uh, a couple of times, played over there in, in St. Patrick's Day Parade. And we played in Birmingham several times, played in London, played in Spain, and played, the last time I played at the band was out in Turkey. 
we were there for a week. So we had a great time and met a lot of people. And I remember in, out in Turkey, we, we met the, the chieftains. Uh, and we had a chat with them when they were finished playing uh, on the stage. So we met a lot of people from home and I enjoyed it. And I, I was a piper and I went in for competitions. The, uh, I remember the fish in Sligo. I went in for individual piping and the first year I got third, the second year I got second and the third year I got first place for solar piping. And then the band got Cups for uh, individual uh, for, uh, for for the band the band competition. There was we had um, twelve pipers and we had uh, drummers. We had about uh, six drummers, bass and bass drummer. And uh, I, I was that's where I spent my leisurely time with the pipe band oh, rather than the football. I used to play rugby when I was at school in Dublin. Yeah. And then I played a bit of Gaelic football, and then the band started. So it was either the band or the football. So I kept with the pipe you, band. You, you picked you picked the um, the pipe band, and you, you picked home, and you stayed home because there's no place like living here. Well, I had to live here because there was no, there's no one else. I had one sister, and she was she's married down in Limerick. So my father got old, and then he died young and I had to take over, so uh, I, ha I had to stay. But uh, it didn't feel like going, I liked the people around, and I'd prefer to stay in Ahikashal than to go out to London or New York or Birmingham or these places. Almost it for Leitrim County Matters. Don't forget if you have any news or events happening around the county that you would like us to know about, email us on leitrim at irishtv.ie. But first, to finish up, we have music from the very talented Nick Deller. <laughs> 